Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas, and in this mini tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a random number generator for any game. So I have this quick little scene set up with a raw image as the background, a text box, and a button which we'll click to generate the number. So this is a very simple scene, but the whole um, code that we're going to write for this can be used in virtually anything at all. It doesn't necessarily have to come in this format with a number uh, button to generate the number. So we're going to create a C-sharp script first of all. So right-click, create, C-sharp. I'm going to call it random generator. So open it up in whatever scripting program you use, whether that be Mono Develop or Visual Studio. It makes no difference whatsoever. Code will be exactly the same. So first thing you're going to want to do is using Unity Engine.ui. You'll need to bring that in there. Uh, let's get rid of this void update. We do not actually need that. Uh, let's get rid of that little note there. So on public, that's going to be game object. And I'm going to call this text box semicolon. So this first um, variable is going to be the text box itself, where we'll display the number once we've generated it. So obviously the second variable that we're going to use is going to be an integer and it's going to be the random number itself. So let's have this as the number semicolon. So we're going to want to put public void and I'm going to call this instead of start. I'm actually going to call it uh, random generate. And we're going to do two things in this uh, function right here. Firstly, we're going to create the random number itself. So let's do the number equals random dot range. And in brackets, you need to put the minimum you want your range to go from. So one in this case. And you need to have the maximum plus one. So I want the maximum to be 99,999. So I need to add one to that. So that's 100,000. Now the reason we add one is just one of the quirky little things within Unity itself and how the code works that you'll never get the maximum value you put in your random range. Not sure why that happens, but it, it's been like that for as long as I can remember. So it's been like it for many years. Uh, close bracket, semicolon. So that will generate the random number. Next thing we need to put it in our text box. So we can do text box dot get component. Open spiky bracket and text close spiky bracket. Open close bracket dot text equals double quote plus the number. Now the reason we put double quote is because it's expecting text rather than an integer. So if you have the double quote there, it kind of makes it think, oh, there is a string or text here. And then you can add in whatever else you want after. In this case, it's the integer. Semicolon. And then that's done. So we can save our script. Head back to Unity. And we shouldn't have any problems with that at all. No errors in the console. Nope, fine down here. So we need the game object to store the script in. So we can drag and drop over there. And we just need to drag and drop the text box onto there. Next thing, we need to set our button so as it actually works. So we need to go on our button, click um, down here on the plus where it's got list is empty. That should appear. Drag and drop the game object in there. Click on no function. Click on random generator. And then click on random generate. So now whenever we click this button, it will generate a random number. So let's head into Unity and press play. And there we go, random number generated. Every time you press, it will generate a number between 1 and 99,999. So theoretically, what you could do is you could do that twice and multiply the two together or add the two together and then display them as text. So for example, if we want public int and put, let's say, the number two. We did the exact same here. And we have the number two. And let's have this between one 
and 9, so I'm going to put the number 10 there. And after the number, we can put plus, and let's put a dash, and then put plus the number oops, 2, and save. Head back to Unity, press play, and then when we click on here, we should see, there we go, so it's generated our long number first, given us a dash, and then our second number. And that is how you create a random number generator in Unity 5. Thank you very much for watching.